Yeah, mate. Working on the 365 special. We're going to turn it into something special. For the guy who owns that wood yard. So we've got a 48 mil cylinder, a 48 mil um, medial piston. So the medial piston is a lot tighter in the um, Farmatech cylinder. No rattle than carrying on. Now, what you are with your soils, you're regulated by one, one or two things air and fuel, um, electricity, fuel, the compression, stuff like that. But with these small soils, because it's a small, there's not much room to fill up air and fuel in the cylinder. So you don't need it, your timing as big because it's, it's there, it's full. But if you're a bigger soil, um, close to say 80 cc, you need more time to throw the air and fuel in and more time for it to suck and come back down again. So you can get away with a lot more of these soils because they're small and they need, need as much. So, I'm going to pull this apart. It wants to keep it low mount. Because um, these have a lot of um, strange tree work. Just things that no one else likes to do here in the here in doing it. So it's his um, saw. Now, I want to know the timing numbers are on this stent. Because I'll write everything down. It's interesting to know what's what and how it works. A lot of dust in there, that crap. Anyway, I'll get this apart and we'll put the degree wheel on this cement and see what the timing numbers are. I don't think it'll be huge, but we'll see. I'm curious about this. So, this is what it looks like cutting a strain hole. Now, if you can see that. Very, very fine dust. Uh, it's very nasty on the soils. If you don't have a good air filter, abrasive, it's cut and stuff. But, uh, overseas, there's a lot of sap. We do have some sappy trees, but this one's designed um, primarily to cut hardwood to sort of season, seasoned and dry. So I'm almost ready to put down but the time wheel on this thing, but yeah, we'll get closer. I'll bring you back in a minute. Murphy's Law, if that happens, it's going to happen. So I can't get the muffle bolts out. Use a peel um, Allen key, the strips both sides. The other one was stripped on one side. It's stripped. Got a manual. Uh, not manual. Millimeters. Metric. It sort of grabs. You put pressure on it, it starts popping down. Again, I put that in where it goes and it gave it a whack of a hammer. Throughout the thread. I could probably do them up, I can't undo them. Which is a shame, real shame. Pain in the butt. So I won't be able to um, do tiny numbers on this. Where do I No, they won't come out. Because what happens is where we live, it's very moist in the air sometimes. Um, if you're around the swamps and stuff like that, it's chewed the waste steel. Because the steel's always getting hot. No, no good. Okay, so I'll have to pull this apart by leaving the muffle on and have to um, ask him to get a muffle, I think. See what I can do this. I'll still put the time wheel in there, I wonder if the um, intake still. That will give me a reference point to see what it's doing. I'll start to cut the muffle off, which I'm not looking forward to. Sparks can't have that one. This has never been a part of the well, it's tight. Come on. Got my screws stuck in the impact driver. Now I have to get um, pliers. There it was. Not happy that muffle won't come off. Annoying action. So I've zeroed, zeroed in the degree wheel. Zeroed it. So have a look and see what the uh, number is for the intake. I'm thinking about 71 tonight. Now, I'll turn you around in a sec. Torch. Good when things come apart easy, but it's a pain in the butt in the day. Right. 
up, gun down, back up again. Maybe a bit accurate. But there, what we got? Well, that surprised me. We we're sitting at 74. Very interesting. 74, wow. I thought it'd be like 71. Um, what's the um, other one? The 50 mil. Shit, flashing torches. Uh, 50. Tyson saw, what's it? Little book. A little book of lies. Yeah. Oh. This is just recently done, so should be a fight easy enough. Alright, Tyson's um uh, doing the so intake on um Tyson's um three tip 372 XP is 71 so this is saying it's 74 so maybe that's why this thing's um a bit more zippier I'm not sure or it probably will be have to be but the guy who likes this um owns it loves the way this thing revs and that'd be part of the reason 70 degrees 73 degrees so you're gonna that down but anyway guys i'll pull the cylinder off next and see what's wrong with the piston he just thinks it's um worn out so i'd say it probably is worn out but some um, stuff like I'll pause you there. So I'm wondering now, can I actually see the transfers? I just guessed a minute. That's what numbers they are. I'll take 125. Okay, I can't get them up for. I can see guys, it's hard to recognize where it starts and stops. It's having the edge shut. Let me go with that, change first. I'll check all this on the um, phone tech. But he wants more power anyway, so we got 120 degrees on the transfers. So that's alright. I thought it'd be 125. But I actually see that when it starts covering them up. I might cover them up further, but that's the front arm transfers towards the exhaust. Can't see that further back. So I'll write that down. Possibly it could be 125 if I could see further in, but I'll go 120. Now pull up the whole um, cylinder off and have a look. I'll bring it back. Now I think with this bolt out, I don't have it on yet. I'm a bit too tight. That's one. I dig that one out, saw, saw dust in there. I'll come back to that. I was starting to get real nervous to that. I finally got that bowl out. So I bought the cylinder now. Have some yeah, water. Need some water. Need to drink some water, guys. Long day. Alright, that feels better. Now, pulse lines that come out. Looks like covering dirt and crap. Try to look it out. Come on. 
stuck in the in tight food. But yeah. There you go. It's a comfy cable. Now I'm gonna clean this all before I pull apart, but I gotta clean it now. Um before I do any work to it. There you go, that comes off. Okay. Oops, there you go, the bulb. No, the sun is so good, it's really good. I'll bring it in the shade a sec. Nothing wrong with the crank. The piston has a bit of wear on it. I'm charging my phone, guys. It's hard to do this bit. I'm moving you around. So, I'll zoom you in. I'll put you where I can get down. A view on the piston. No. That's the intake of the piston, so it's shiny as, yes, but um, a little bit dirt, but dirt and dust has been getting into the. That's alright. A lot of carbon build up until the cylinder. Quite a bit, actually. Black stuff, carbon. The exhaust side. It's got wear, but it's alright. Is the ring attack blown off? It's sharp. That when it's um, bedded into the cylinder, it's sharp. Always feels like a razor blade. So, how much room do we have? Gap was probably now. The same one, except a brand new Chinese saw has huge gaps. There's a bit of gap. You're sticking your fingernail in there, so that's not good. But the cylinder, there's nothing wrong with the cylinder. So, okay. And it is a, a square ball. Yes, yeah, square intake. So I'm right going to a round intake. Get um, a new better way, new and better way of um, making the saw work. That's the um. I'm the, that's a cylinder. So nothing wrong with it. But it needs a new ring. Oh, there's a bit too much of a ring gap, but she's done 20 years of firewood. So, hats off the house fire, that's done really well. So, I'll leave the ring off, I'll cinch down the cylinder tomorrow, get compressed air out, blow it all out, get ready for a rebuild. But yeah, that's a shame. But she's going more, she, she, she did go well. There's a lot of dows coming out for the piston. Mm. Yeah, I can't do the muffler. Muffler, hmm. Can't even get to the bolt. So I have to get a new muffler for this thing too. Alright guys, that's pulled down. I know roughly what I need to do. Clean the bugger out of it. Yeah. And then um, start the rebuild. We have to put new um, bearings and stuff in it too maybe. I'm not sure. New seals. But she was going alright, just didn't have the um, compression that she had. Right guys, over and out, that's enough for me today. I should say, over and out, and thank you for watching, I do appreciate you guys. Gives me something to do with myself. Right guys, over and out.